business owners beware. Commercial tenant spaces require you to file a building permit. Your landlord might say, move right in, but you are the one liable for that requirement. I'm Deborah Yellington, president of Dynamic Permits. And if you're a business owner about to move into a commercial tenant space, you need a building permit and I can help. Here's four quick tips, items that you need to have before you can file for that permit. Number one is a copy of the property survey. I suggest you ask your landlord for that. Number two is a copy of the CO. That's a certificate of occupancy for that building. You need to show that along with your permit application. Number three is a copy of your lease. And number four is the building permit application. And this needs to be signed by the property owner. Now you are the tenant asking permission to occupy that space, the owner has to show the building department that they're allowing you to go in there with your new business. So it's the owner of the building or the management company that will sign that for you. If you don't start gathering these items together, then you're going to be up against a wall. Make no mistake, if you move in to that commercial space without filing the proper permit, you're likely to get a visit from your local code enforcement official and they will cite you. They'll give you a violation for moving in and occupying without a proper building permit. And then if that goes ignored, then you'll get a summons to court and the costs just escalate from there. So while you still have leverage, tell the landlord that you need these items so that you can file for the building permit before you start paying for that space. And if you need assistance with this due diligence, then reach out to us through the link below because at Dynamic Permits, we put your plans in motion. Thanks for watching.